booktube i hope you're doing well today <laughs> i hope you're doing well today i am going to be starting my bame book series in which i highlight books by bame authors and the article that prompted this entire series was about the fact that only one percent of main characters in children's books were bame and for those who don't know that means black, Asian or other minority ethnic groups. Uh, that is what started this series but I just really wanted this series to be more about highlighting BAME authors in general and BAME works. So this one is not a children's book, it is not a YA book. I had considered starting with Mallory Blackman but I'm sorry, I am just a sucker for elephants. So this one is one of my favourites and I am going to be starting with this one. It is The Unexpected Inheritance of Inspector Chopra. It is the first in the Abe Ganesh Agency Investigation series. I think the series name has changed but I'm not sure but that's what it says on this cover. It is about Inspector Chopra and on the day of his retirement he discovers that he has been given a gift from I think his uncle's will and it is an elephant. It is a baby Ganesha and it is adorable. It is one of my favourite parts of the book because of course it's an elephant and I love elephants but the book is actually really good. It is not really something that I generally pick up. I've been getting into the genre more now but when I bought the book Crime really was not my thing and this has really kind of started to change my mind on it so I've been really getting into the genre now and I really want to thank this book for that. I'm going to start by reading the blurb and then I'm going to tell you in a non-spoiler way what the book is like, what I thought of it, what I liked and hopefully it will be something that you will be interested in. On the day he retires, Inspector Ashwin Chopra discovers that he has inherited an elephant, an unlikely gift that could not be more inconvenient, for Chopra has one last case to solve. But as his murder investigation leads him across Mumbai, from its richest mansions to its murky underworld, he quickly discovers that a baby elephant may be exactly what an honest man needs. So begins the start of a quite unexpected partnership and an utterly delightful new series. It has a very standard setup. It is his last day at work, he doesn't want to retire, and a body has been discovered. He is told to leave it be. It's his last day on the job, there's not really much he can do. And he agrees, it, that's protocol, but something about this case doesn't sit right with him, so he decides to investigate it on his own. And because of that, the book has quite a small cast. Really, there are quite a few secondary characters, um, some police officers, some colleagues, uh, and characters from his wife's subplot, and his mother-in-law among many, but honestly, aside from say the mother-in-law, a lot of them feel more like tertiary characters for all that they're in it. And I don't mind that, I don't mind small casts, and because I like characters, but I really like characters done well and I feel like he and his wife Poppy are done well. I feel like even though Uncle Bansy does not get much of a role, he is important, not just for not just for bequeathing the elephant, but also for his role in Chopra's life. So seeing him was quite nice. And also, of course, Ganesha, the elephant whom I love. <laughs> so crime is not my genre so I'm not going to give an evaluation of the plot and how it pans out. I don't feel comfortable doing that or capable. So I'm going to just speak from personal opinion. I liked the way that it handled the crime. I liked the fact that it wasn't afraid to get a little dark, that it genuinely put its characters in harm's way. Because to me, I bought the book for the elephant because to me crime either comes in 
two forms. It's like Swedish noir or grimdark or daytime TV myth or murders ish. And I don't like either, I just can't be doing with either. <clears throat> but it worked it really well. It did get dark, but it also had really light hearted moments. It was really it really worked. There was no tonal dissonance in it, in my view. There was no tonal dissonance, except perhaps I felt like it got a little melodramatic with Poppy's subplot, but that might just be me. I don't like that kind of thing either, so that might just be me. I also really liked the way that it linked back with a previous case that Inspector Chopra worked on. I liked that it dredged up the past. It kind of fit, in my view, with the fact that he was leaving this part of his life behind, that he didn't want to retire, and so it kind of felt right that it should have something to do with his past, that it could kind of be cathartic for him, that he was finally putting a close to that part of his life, and <clears throat> there were twists in this book that I also really liked. Maybe it's because I don't like crime that I didn't see them coming, that I didn't even think there were going to be any twists. And I really liked them, I thought they were done really well because they didn't feel strange, they didn't feel contrived. So I really enjoyed that. What I appreciate most about the book is the fact that it works so well with the tone, but Something that I can't go without mentioning is the fact that I only really have two criticisms of this book and I feel like that is really something to praise it on. This is me personally so perhaps you will feel differently but I only have two criticisms of it and the first is a, just a matter of terminology. There is a prostitute that he meets at one point and he calls her oriental and I realise you know terminology is not the worst thing but when you hear the word oriental these days it's not the 1800s if you're talking about oriental now you tend to be talking about like an auction about like Ming dynasty vases or like a Persian rug or something. I don't really like that it's being used for people. But that is of course just me. It just makes me a wee bit uncomfortable. And the second thing is of course, as I mentioned earlier, Poppy's subplot. It has to do with not having kids. And I just really wanted to scream at them. <laughs> during all of it. It was it was melodramatic and I didn't like that but I also really did not like the fact that they didn't try to adopt. They couldn't have kids and she said that she thought about adoption and he seemed to shut down every time that came up and maybe this is something that's going to be dealt with in later books but it just really frustrated me. As an adoptee myself I just really couldn't get past that. I just thought, you didn't even try. You didn't even try. I don't know, maybe there's something cultural about it. But, <laughs> I don't know. I just couldn't get past that. Overall, I think it is a really good book. I would definitely recommend it if you, like me, like that sweet spot between Grimdark and Daytime TV serial because that's where I feel it fits. I also think if you are trying to get into crime or you want to just give it a go, this is also a really good book for that. If you're worried whether or not the elephant ever is just a gimmick, no, he is not. He is perfect and I love him and um, I personally cannot attest to whether or not the representation of Mumbai is correct, but the author Vasim Khan did live there for a while and he worked there. So I trust him on that. So that is The Unexpected Inheritance of Inspector Chopra. If you think it sounds fun or if it's your genre, I would definitely re recommend that you check it out. 
I hope that you have a nice day. Thank you for watching and bye.